sun's coming up. It's chilly this morning, but we, we've got the gas fire pit, and this is just really nice. Just waiting for the water to boil. Oh, what a beautiful view to wake up to, isn't that? The, t the sun is just touching the tops of those hills, and you can hear the San Rafael River in the background just gently burbling. Somebody's out for a little morning stroll down by the river, the San Rafael. It's quiet, flows kind of slow, and uh, unfortunately you can't get down to the water because the banks are so steep. Uh, we had planned on parking a little closer so that we could hear it, but if you note that big log in the foreground, that's an enormous anthill there. We couldn't find a level spot far enough away, so we picked this spot. Wow, look at that. Just spectacular. Looks like we've got several active burrows here. There's quite a distinct trail of fresh tracks. Don't know what kind of critter it is, but you can see they beat a path all the way along here. The sun hasn't quite reached us down here yet. It'll be a few more minutes, but it certainly has illuminated that magnificent peak. There are patches of prickly pear cactus everywhere through here, but they're not the problem. No, the pickly pear don't bother you. But my feet are full of goat heads, <laughs> just from walking around. I suppose I could put on some shoes, but what for? If Tim Rumble can wear thongs all year long, so can I. We heard there was going to be a fly problem, especially down by the rivers. So Monica, thinking ahead, bought a fly bag. And uh, yeah, we had to use it last night because we were swarmed almost immediately. But uh, yeah, if you want to mitigate that problem, break open a fly bag. We'll probably leave it hanging there for the next people. Or probably not. Anyway, who cares about flies? Look at that.
We've stopped along a spot here along the San Rafael Weather where we might be able to dip our feet in, but nowhere along here is the bank clean. You know, it's everything, every, everywhere along the bank is like this. Uh, makes it kind of treacherous to get down there, but I need to rinse my feet off. So that's what we're gonna do. It's the morning of the fourth day. And uh, if you hadn't noticed, this place is really spectacular. Yeah, the bank's real steep. And where somebody might be able to get in, it's a mud hole. You step in there probably up to your knees. I just wanted to rinse my feet off. But it don't look like it's gonna happen. It's not here. Oh well, there'll be other places. Probably a few river crossings, depending on what track we take. We haven't got into the heart of the wilderness yet here. This is a kind of a recreation area, so there's actually ease of access is, uh, yeah, amazing. <laughs> uh, yeah, anybody in any kind of vehicle could get to this spot right here. <laughs> so, but it helps to have a four wheel drive just in case. But we're not needed today. Beautiful spot. It's the, at the end of a wash. This is not a road, this is a wash. <laughs> it doesn't show up on Gaia, but we could see the water from the road that crosses the wash. Anyway, we gotta go hit to town, get some fuel. And we'll be back. Okay, we're at some place called the sinkhole. It's just a star on the map. <laughs> and really all it is is a rather large hole in the ground. But the problem is, is you really can't even get close enough to it to see how deep it goes. So I got the camera on the pole here. <laughs> I'm going to try to see if I can see down the hole a little bit. Uh, I'm getting farther away from it. I thought I was getting closer, but... I could climb over, but I'm not going to. I think I'll go over to the other side. Okay. Well, that's a pretty good hole in the ground. All right, I guess. Uh, I'm positioning it in a place where I can climb up the fence here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, can't tell how deep it is from here. Maybe you guys can see it. But, uh, yeah. That's the world famous sinkhole. <laughs> oh. We'll try to do better. to the peak, the Wikia Peak.
found one of those rare spots that almost nobody gets to see. All we did was just take an offshoot road off of I-70 and here we are. Lots of off-roading out here, trying to pull in those distant hills there in the Sids Mountain area that we were just at. And we're headed for, that's called Wiki Up, and we're gonna make a loop because we're headed into town, we need some fuel, but it's just too doggone early in the day <laughs> to stop. And we've got extra fuel, so we should be able to make it back. take the caps off. I did my job. Oh yeah, my other job was to take the cap off of that. Well, we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. In about a minute, we're gonna be up here and stopped. And you're gonna hear me tell you that this is a tough trail. Overall, it's actually an easy trail, but it does have some tough spots. Some tight spots that you have to drive through, some tight corners. One, we had to make a three-point turnaround. Uh, some rough spots with some large boulders and rocks. Uh, definitely not uh, any place for your Prius 
or your town and country, uh, you're not going to get back in here in anything other than some sort of high clearance four wheel drive vehicle. So be prepared. But it is a fun trail. Not too many places to pull off, but there are a few. And you will be rewarded at every stop you can make. This is Black Dragon Wash, and let me tell you, it's a tough trail. Look at the size of that rock. Holy smokes. Anyway, I pulled off here just to gaze around. This is one of those places where you want to come to if you've got a four-wheel drive high clearance rig, and we're using every bit of it. So we are in Black Dragon Wash proper, coming up on some petroglyphs here before we exit out onto I-70, I think is what it is. Man, man, what a breathtaking. If you ever get a chance to come into Green River, the uh, Black Dragon Wash is only a few miles away. These uh, Falcon Rupert tracks have been doing really well. Looks like we're getting some sidewall hits. We're being real careful. Of course, you have to be back in here. I wouldn't want to change a tire. That's for sure. Um, but the sidewalls are holding up really well. This is actually a really good tire. Bump this rear one here. Pretty good. A little earlier. No notable damage, a lot of scuffs and stuff, but <laughs> I immediately checked my tire pressures. <laughs> it was a pretty good pop sound. Yeah, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous wash. Pretty technical. Don't come down here without some kind of high clearance and uh, four wheel drive for sure. But it's well worth the trip. We passed a few people on bicycles. I'm not sure where they got on. <laughs> how far they're going but it's about a 13 mile run um, from where we got on to the other end and uh, that's a long day on a bicycle I imagine <laughs> um, yeah great beautiful place Okay, we've come to what's referred to as a day use area. 
here in this canyon. And uh, there's actually a petroglyph panel here. And I can't imagine this gets much, this gets too much, too many people around because it's a tough trail getting back here. But in case you don't get a chance to get back here, these are probably, from what I understand, the Fremont tribe, is that what he said? About 2,000 years old, these uh, red ones. So, yeah, just a quick stop, and this has actually put us in a position where I think we're just going to drive back in to uh, Green River and fuel up again, because we're down a half a tank. It was full this morning. Yep. Black Dragon Wash, it's called. Okay, Monica's saying she sees a dragon there. She thinks that's actually a man reaching out to pet the dragon there in the stone, but you know what? That looks like some kind of wolf or something. Yep. I had to put my telephoto lens on because there's more that you can't see unless you're a little closer. I don't know what that is. And then this is the main panel here. Huh. To think that's been up there for several thousand years. I don't see any more. Yep, I thought that's what you were talking about. The oh, there's a man standing next to that wolf too. Yep. Reaching out to the dragon. The dragon to the no, I see the wolf reaching out. That's the only reaching out I see. Okay, so if you walk a little further, you'll see some, some more. And of course, more recent art. But this is quite a panel. And I'm not wondering if that isn't the dragon right there. Huh. Could be a dragon. Could be anything. No one is sure at this stage. Huh, unusual. What a magnificent place this is. I'm very special to be able to see these petroglyphs. Excuse me, pictographs. So as it turns out, that's not the only spot there where the pictographs are. You walk up another 50 yards or so, and there's this entire wall of art. There's Monica down at the end. The trail keeps going up. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people have been on it, so it wouldn't surprise me any. Uh, there's actually pictographs and there's some etchings in the stone called petroglyphs along here. You have to have a sharp eye and you really got to want to see them. So if you can get here, this is probably some of the more unspoiled pictographs you can find. Looking up at all of these rocks, I kind of worry that they all could come down at any time or anywhere. Didn't make it. Just didn't make it. 